common factor and difference of squares. Here we have some examples which involve some fractions. And I know students are kind of scared to see fractions and factors combined together. But let's see how to answer these questions or how to factor these binomials. Now these binomials are all actually kind of difference of squares. But to really make them difference of squares, we need to adopt another technique and that is common factoring. So if you see, we have three of them here. 2x square minus 25 over 8 times y square, 5q square minus p square over 5, and x to the power of 4 over 8 minus 2. So I'll do the first one and the other two are for you to practice. Now in the first one, x square and y square are squares, 25 is a square, but 2 and 8 are not. So what we can do here is, we can factor out 2. So if I factor 2, what do I get? I get x square here, and I have to divide this term by 2, thereby I'll get 25 over 16 y square. Do you see that? So when we factor out, we kind of get squares here. So we get 2, which is already factored form of this expression, x squared minus, you can write this as 5 over 4y whole square. Do you see that? So we have difference of squares now. Since we have difference of squares, we can factor it. So it is factored as x plus 5 over 4y times x minus 5 over 4y. Do you see that? So we have factored something which had fractions and we got three factors here. 2 times x plus 5 over 4y times x minus 5 over 4y. Right? So that is the factored form. So that is how we can factor such expressions. So I'd like you to factor the other two in a similar fashion and practice. At times we may ask you to write these numbers without fractions. In that case we may have to take 4 common right, and then multiply and get the answer. We'll leave it for now but at times it may be required. Okay, But anyway you have learned a way to factor. So let me show you the other one. What will you do? You will take 5 common. If you take 5 common, you are left with q square, p square is already there, denominator will be 5 times 5 or 5 square and you can adopt the technique. In this case, what will you do? You can take 2 common. When you take 2 common, you get x to the power of 4 divided by 16 minus 1. 1 square, 4 square, x square square. Here you may have to factor further to really get it in the factored form. When we say write in factored form, then ensure that the function cannot be factored any further. Okay? Thank you and all the best.